So this system is intended for the robot to move the foundation into the building zone and so that we can score more points. And basically how it works is that uh, these two servos will be attached to the robot and then the servos will actuate and lock down here and then the robot will drive here and move the foundation into the building zone. And then during the end game, it's just going to do the exact opposite. It's just going to move on to this side and move it out. We on this design because um, one, we didn't, we wanted to approach this problem from this side of the foundation because if we started from here, the robot would have to like go backwards and it would hit the uh, wall before we could actually get the foundation within the building zone since the building zone is sort of greater than 18 inches, which is the max size of the robot. And we couldn't go from this side because there was the blue foundation, so we can't touch that either. Which left us with this, and the only way to like move this to here is by grabbing it somehow and transferring it to um, the building zone. So, what improvements do you see with this design, or flaws that you see happening? So, one definite dilemma right now is that because we are approaching it from one side, just moving it causes it to tilt. So uh, one thing drivers need to be wary of is to like realize that the robot is going to go forward first and then the back end of the foundation. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like a basic build thing is that if you attach the servo with an L from here, there actually isn't enough. It's not close enough for the teeth to engage. So what you want to do which is better, it's just to attach the servo to the new bracket itself so then you can actually proceed it. And um, even so, the teeth barely engage if you like look real close. So try to tighten that gap. So look out for that is what I'm saying.